Good morning, Twitch DDO stream community. I am DDO Wiki Administrator Shoemaker, or Technical 13, and this is the third episode of DDO Wiki Talk with T13. Um, so, as some may know, the some of the members of the Players Council made it down to um, Warner Brothers Turbine to visit DDO development team last weekend. Um, I actually have a screenshot of the ones that made it. You can see um, me on the left, Claver, Untitled, Darius of Blessed Blades, um, Brayden, I think it's spelled, or sp pronounced, the banana, the evil banana, the you broke the bill banana, and then following up with the guy that's allergic to mushrooms in the I am a fun guy shirt, your DDO's very own Ague. Um, we had a great time there, learned a bunch of stuff, um, got to see how, how it was made. We got to talk to several in for a while um, to get an idea of what their thoughts of where the game may be heading. Um, we, we, we learned how um, dynamic the where the game is going can actually be. It can be, you know, one thing, one update with a whole bunch of plans and then somewhere a couple weeks later something falls through and they completely change course it's, it's very di it's a very dynamic environment um which you know actually works out pretty good for us players most of the time um some of us got to see that the development team is f relatively small so the amount of work that they produce and the amount of time that they produce it in is actually quite a quite a feat in of itself. Um, um, so yeah, it was a, a great time there. Good morning, Grimax. So on the wiki today, what are we going to do? Um, I haven't had a lot of good suggestions for things to do, so I was just going to kind of poke around and check out some things and go from there um, I welcome any questions or ideas for things that we can work on um, so let's start poking um, Let's, when I don't know what to do, I usually go to um, the recent changes, and we take a look there, and we see what's been done. So we take a look. Oh, the, the background construction noise, if you can hear it, is um, my landlord decided to work on replacing... Um, I have not ever played real pen and paper Dungeons & Dragons. Um... So yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, the landlord decided he was going to replace our porches today, so the background noise, that's what that is. So, um, I would love to try to play pen and paper sometime. Um, unfortunately, in the area that I'm in, finding other players has proven to be excessively difficult. Um, maybe at some point, I will find a group to play with. But, yeah. Good morning, Titan. So, what has happened today on the wiki? Uh, looks like player council member Lord Silverhand did some edits to adding some templates. One of our ed other editors, Christopher G. Lewis, made a few edits, created a new category for the Yugoloth in the Monster Manual, um, added some Yugoloth apparently. A relatively new editor made a few small minor edits and reverted some edits. Um, 
Yoko 5000 created a new template for the new Oktoberfest um, Night Rebels event that should be available to play on live, I would expect, within a week or two. Titan asks, are all members of the Players' Council required to visit Turbine, or is it optional? It is entirely optional, and it was actually entirely on our own dime. We actually had to pay to get, get ourselves there, so there was no requirement for that. Um, several in DDO were gracious enough to um, buy us lunch. Um, we, had, we had pizza, and it was pretty good pizza, to be honest. Um, we also scheduled it for Friday, which happens to be, you know, bagels and other assorted pastries day. So I know I, I, I took advantage of that and had me a muffin in the morning when we first got there. Um, she loves food, you know, it, it is what it is. But there was no requirement to go. And actually only seven or eight out of um, of us actually went. Um How many of us are there total? I know somebody asked that the other day. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Um 63 minus 3 inactives, there are 60 of us altogether. So 8 out of 60 actually made it. We had, um, we had Ague, we had Bregan, we had Claver, Darius of the Blessed Blades, we had, let's see here. We had Entitled, we had Myself, and that was it. Those were all of the people that made it. Um, so yeah, it was a great time. Like I said, maybe next year, Titan. Maybe next year you can get yourself on the council and go make, make an appointment to visit. I wouldn't want you to, you know, show up un unannounced. That might not work very well. It is, you know, Warner Brothers, so security is relatively tight. So, what else has happened today? Um, it looks like, other than those things that we've already gone over, we had a couple new users that made it to the super user group. They reached the 250 threshold. Um... That basically gives them permission to see which edits. It gives them a little red exclamation mark for edits from people that haven't, that aren't at least DDO Wiki VIP. So, let's see here. What can we do? Let's take a look. Well, there's nothing there really that we can work on. Category volume six. Now, let's take a look at special pages and see if we can find something there. All right. So we have 182 orphan pages. Let's work on some of those. All right, let's open up the first five. One, two, three, four, five. See which, how many of those we can actually get create a link to. Key mapping. Okay.
You found some links that don't have pages yet. So you found some red links. Do I play anything other than DDO? I just don't have time. Um, between school and family and DDO and the wiki, I just don't have time to play other games. I've taken breaks from DDO and tried um, Lord of the Rings. I've tried... Um, I tried Star Wars when it first came out. I, I got a free beta for that because of my wiki involvement. Um, other than that, I really haven't tried many other games. Um, So we could probably add some links to a guide to key mapping. Um, let's see here. Newbie guide. Newbie guides category. So that's going to be like a newbie guide. Let's take a look here. How did they build this? I am going for bachelors. I have uh, two concentrations of software development and databases. And I'm also doing a um, web development certificate. So I have a few things going on there. So we got newbie guides here. And it, apparently it's just a nice category list from a newbie guides category. So let's take a look at that category. All right. So we got category newbie guides. If we go back to a guide to key mapping. <laughs> Good luck indeed. I actually only have a couple more semesters to go. So let's add a category here for category newbie guides. And we're going to copy this into the summary, but we're going to have to add a semicolon so that it will be linked instead of try to add the summary to the category, which you can't do. So we'll link it like that. And that might actually not take it out of orphaned pages. But if we go back here and we go to newbie guide, let's do some purging. I don't have purge. Okay, so that resets that. Guide to key mapping. There it is right there. So let's see if this fixes this. It might not because it's doing it through a category instead of being directly linked. Anybody can help edit the, w the wiki. And H knowledge of HTML is not required. Um, Going through the help pages and learning wiki text isn't even required. If you just put in plain text, type in what you want, and add little notes about what formatting you want, and then um, indicate to somebody else that by adding the Wikify template to the top that it needs to be you know formatted, somebody else will come along and format it for you. All right, so that didn't actually take care of that because we did it through categories. What else can we add this to? Um, a guide to key mapping. So let's take this and open a new tab and put it in the search bar and search.
Player's Manual. New player facts. Command tips. We can get creative here. You can block in combat by holding down the shift key. So if we go like this and we go and we make a piped link, copy paste. So we, we, we have a shift key there. What else do we have? That might not be the best result for that. We can get rid of these spaces. This, the wiki text actually doesn't like them. It actually creates all kinds of extra HTMLs for the parser, even though it's harder to read. Alright, preview, so now shift key is linked to a guide to key mapping. Hmm. We'll save that one. Purge that. Okay. Purge that. Okay. Click on the what links here so we can see now player's manual links into it. That's a good thing. Do the new weapons that came out in the recent update have pages on here yet? We can find out in just a moment. So let's do this. And the guide to key mapping should be gone. And now we're down to Adam S. Mursky. That's the next one. So we want to know about update 28 weapons. So... Um, update... 28 named items go so let's see here it looks like some of them do it looks like the fatal flower is missing the heroic version the heroic lion's mane the heroic increased potential the epic ivy helix the epi epic eagle's eye doesn't have one yet all of the red linked ones don't have one yet so we could actually work on some of those if we wanted to. Um, let me see here. Let me pull something up at another screen for a second. See if I can find my screenshots. I think those are on my other computer. Or my flash drive. Uh, let me get my flash drive that I believe has the images. Well, let's see what it what it actually has. All right, let's see here. 
open folders. Update 28. All right, which one are we looking at? The Epic Demonic Slab. Right here. Uh, 67.65 by looks of things. So if it had more than that, I am guessing that it is because they are like a vanguard or something. And they have all kinds of additional bonuses to it. Um, I don't see it getting to 200 plus in actuality, but... All right, so I got a yellow on that one because I wasn't proficient. All right, so yep. So where should we start? Let's see here. Let's do the increased potential, which is an orb. I don't remember how we do orbs, if they're counted as shields or if they have their own orb template. So let's try named orb. There is no named orb. Let's do named shield. So we have the shield. We scroll down, open named shield in a new tab. Ah, so orb is covered by name shield at this time. So let's copy this in. All right. Let's open up the screenshot for that, which I believe I have as both orbs in one. So click on edit, close that. Orbs, all right. Now, like I said, the idea is when you're Cropping screenshots. To. There is no happy medium there. The, the idea is to get the borders, but don't worry about the wings. So like this, cut, new, don't save, paste, file, save as a PNG. Increased potential dot PNG save. Go down here to pick the script. Save. 
We're going to substitute in the page name dot png. Do a show preview. Control click on the 420px. Choose file. Documents, my documents, Dungeons and Dragons Online, increase potential. Um, that file is 254, which is above the 150 large size. We'll ignore the warnings and click upload. And there is our increase potential. I was on a warlock when I took this. I find it interesting that it's intelligence and charisma. That might not be for everybody. That might be a feat for warlocks. I'm not that familiar to know. But anyway, we'll figure it out. So now we'll do a show preview again. And now we should have the picture. So we can start with, let's see here. Description. One should always strive to unlock their true potential. It's an orb bonus. Nothing else down there. Cost 5902. Weight 3 pounds. Um, I didn't notice what chest that was in. Update 28 named items. That is in sub subversion. I didn't actually get confirmation on this yet, but I do believe that all of the named items in this pack drop in end chests as well. I don't believe there are any in flavored chests. Um, even though I mentioned that some of these things probably should drop in sp specific chests, I don't think that actually got implemented. Um, so we'll just put end chests. Our durability is 145. Our material is gem. Our hardness is 28. All right, we have plus five or we have wizardry five. We have insightful spell pen one. Not sure how that'll work, but we might have to mess with the template for that to figure it out. We have quality spell focus one. We might have to mess with that one. I don't know how that's set up at the moment. And an orange augment slot, so augment orange. Oh, let's see here. Crit 
20x2. So we can just remove the commenting tags. Damage type is going to be bludgeoning, magic. Nope, it's just going to be plus zero force. So that one's just going to be force. Damage. 1d6. And that's... 1d6. Is there a spell failure on it? No. Is there an ACP on it? No. It's a rune arm. Uh, there's no DR. Direct, just the orb bonus saving throws as resistances. So no DR. No max dex bonus, no shield bonus. Bind. Bound to account on acquire. So bound to account, bound on acquire. Our mods are int ka. So intelligence, charisma. Our minimum level is 14. There's no UMD. Oh, there is a shield bonus, it's three. So shield bonus is plus three. It requires magical training. It has no race restriction. Proficiency, I believe, is general. No, magical training. Okay, so that's where magical training comes in. No required trait. It's an orb. It says, don't use page name, but I'm going to anyways, but I'm going to substitute it. I'm going to have to change the template for that later. All right, let's do a show preview. Based on the Mania screenshot... Watch this being created on HTTP. Show preview. All right, so enchantment. Enhancement bonus doesn't exist. It's enhancement bonus now. I sh need to update the template for that. Enhancement bonus. Show preview. We actually did a template change on that a long time ago. So. None, unknown, unknown, unknown. So those all need to have something put in there. Instead of unknown, they're going to be none, 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 show preview, all right, so none, 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 none percent, that's on spell failure, make that a zero. So now we need to get spell pen and spell focus working. Spell po focus, spell penetration. All right, so we want insightful penetration. So magnitude, insight, prefix equals 
So it's going to be one insight prefix equals insightful. Spell pen one insight prefix equals insightful. Insightful spell penetration one. All right, so that one's good. Now we need to do quality focus. So that needs to be quality spell focus. So I just need to add in as school. Spell focus one, quality, quality, so now it's quality, spell focus one, and there we go, so looks like we're all good here. We can save the page. We now have a page for the increased potential. It's missing a focus window for the orb picture, but there it is. Insightful spell penetration one items. Apparently there are none of those. So we're going to click on that. We're going to create the category because it doesn't exist already. We're going to copy this. And we're going to put this into category insightful spell penetration items. I'm assuming eventually there'll be a spell penetration too. And now this, oh, there might already be. So let's do a save page. Insightful spell penetration items already exist. Let's take a look at it. So there's already a two, and we just added a one. Except that we do need to take a look at this and go back to this. We're going to edit this and see how they did number two, which is going to be no include category list in O2. We'll copy all that. We'll edit this. And we'll change this to 01. Match in spell pen to cat. All right. So now this should be listed properly. One and two spell penetration items. Spell pen one, spell pen two. Three, four, five, six, insightful spell pen items, one and two. Awesome. I am going to modify this a little bit because mm, it doesn't need two. I don't like it with two, two columns there. So we're going to edit this. And we're going to change this to category listing one. which isn't putting it in one column. Let's take a look at why. Category listing. Ah, it needs calls equals. Show preview. There we go. That looks nice. Alrighty, let's see, what else do we have? Recent changes. Looking good. Alright, so, next thing here. So many buttons and text fields.
There are a lot of them. Um, let's see here. So if we refresh this page, increased potential here should turn blue. And blue it is. Mute my mic for a minute. Good coffee, good coffee. Shu loves coffee. So you can watch me live on um, twitch.tv forward slash DDO stream. Um, so. Let's work on the epic eagle's eye. Bring up my screenshots again. What is the epic eagle's eye? I believe that's a trinket, isn't it? It is, so that's the trinket. So let's edit that. Shrink this down. And we want the epic one. Control X. New, don't save, paste, save as ping, epic, eagles, i dot png, and we can shrink that. Actually, we're done with that. We can close that. So it's a trinket, and trinkets are named jewelry, which I can never spell. Show preview. Go to name jewelry page. Copy and paste. Get our screenshot. I don't know if I put the Lamania template on the top of the other one, but we're going to put it on this one. Delete Lamania. All right. Which quest is this in? Update 28 named items. This is the Eagle's Eye which is in Subversion as well. It's an Epic, so it's going to be min level 28 for this one. It is a Trinket. We know that much. 
it has no race. We know that all the things in this pack are bound to account, bound on acquire. Show preview. Am I considering upgrading to Windows 10 yet? No. Um, I am going to probably do the upgrade process on one of my laptops and go through the process that I found online for turning that upgrade into a DVD um, through an ISO or whatever format they use. And then I'll have an upgrade, a, a Windows 10 upgrade disk sitting around. But I have no interest in upgrading to Windows 10 at this time. Um, there's still a lot of un, unfound bugs for Windows 10. And it doesn't get along very well with um, DirectX 9, as far as I can see, from other people's discussions. So I'm going to hold off for a bit before I actually upgrade. All right, so let's get our screenshot uploaded. Oh, last week I mentioned that I needed to add this block up here with all the commands for refreshing. It got up, uh, updated last week. So that's there. All right, so we're working on Epic Eagle's Eye. Open. 252, so that's above 150. Upload. And there is our Epic Eagle's Eye. Excellent. Show preview again. All right, so what do we got? We got a base value. Cost. 11 to 20. Platinum pieces, we have a weight of 0 0.10 pounds, a hardness of 29, a durability of 200, a material of steel. I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, trinkets and other jewelry are usually made of like gold or silver. Um, although the hardness and durability suggests that it could be correct. Um, Steel Star or No Worries or Varg might want to check into that. And they might not. Um, so let's see here. Description. The You are doing the Fatal Flock crossbow. I don't mind at all. You're going to watch me to see how to do it. Alrighty, that's fine. So the, that's what these, these streams are for. The head of an eagle. Observing the minuscule details of the world. Minuscule. Why is it telling me that's wrong? Min... E S so that so all right so this is one of those instances where they have it spelled that way I have duplicated what they have except it's not spelled correctly um, it should be minuscule with a U instead of an I but because they have it spelled minuscule we're gonna spell it minuscule um, we are gonna use the incorrect spelling because that is what is on the item. Um, if they corrected that between Lamania and Live, then somebody can upload a new screenshot, and we will change it at that point. Um, so, I believe that we are on enhancements now. So sometimes what I do, because it's hard to get all of this on the screen at the same time as the enhancement section, is I will actually resize my box no, it won't let me get any smaller. Okay.
when it fights with me about it, I fight back. It tells me that it's got a minimum rose of 25, and I might change that to 10. Um, and I might just dump the width and height so that I can resize it, and then close that. So now I can resize this down to this, go to enhancements, and I can scroll up, and I can start with skill spot 20, skill search 20, Seeker 14. That space in the front won't actually hurt anything, but I don't like it. Having the first letter lowercase here and the template name doesn't hurt anything, but I don't like it. Um, we have an augment colorless. We have augment green we have named item set epic griffin which may not be in there yet we have named item set the devil's handiwork which I do believe is in there. Oh, it's Epic, the Devil's Handiwork, which might not be. Um, so that's all of that. So now we do a show preview. You're forgetting the line bracket between skill and search. Ah, so yep, we got template skill and named item set doesn't exist because I typed it wrong. But this is why we do show preview. So we do that. If we go down here to named item set isn't right, we can go to simple, which is one, we want one variable. Um, item granted feet. Not in there. More variables. No, two variables named item sets with an S. All right, so we need to add our S's. S, S, show preview. All right, template skill doesn't exist. I believe skill is a more variables and it's skills. All right, so it's skills with an S. All right, so now we got spot 20, search 20, seeker 14, empty colorless, empty green, epic griffin, epic devil's handiwork. Let's add the word set there, see if that shows up. Set undefined, okay. So what we'll do is we'll pipe this in here with while wearing both items from the Griffin set you gain cool thing here is you can actually do is a plus two quality bonus to constitution you can actually do con to quality and then when you do show preview, you get epic griffin set while wiring this, you gain 
quality constitution plus two, which is a double pop-up. I really don't like the way that that works. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to do plus two quality bonus to constitution. But you could do it, I suppose. And then we're actually going to type in the one for the Epic Devil's Handiwork. And we're going to copy this, right? And we're going to do while wearing six items from the the devil's handiwork which isn't quite proper English but that's okay plus two quality bonus to all ability stats all right so show preview the devil's handiwork that looks good Griffin that looks good everything else looks good oh, we don't have a location so we need to put in location subversion it is in the end chest Item type, jewelry. Trinket. And, oops, wrong button. Save. So let's copy Lamania to the other item we made because it's based on a Lamania screenshot. Can I bring up a picture of the Fatal Flaw crossbow? I suppose I probably could. It looks like my son is editing with my account. So I'll need to undo that. Increase potential. Note that this is from Lamania. do that. So you wanted to see the fatal flaw, which is right there. I have yellow on that one. So it's got keen three, armor piercing 20, Shrieking 5, so Sovereign Vorpal, 12, plus 12 enhancement, and empty orange slot on the epic. On the heroic, it's Keen 2, Armor Piercing 15. Shrieking 2, Improved Vorpal, plus 5 enhancement bonus, and empty orange augment. Um, min level 14, 
It's 2.5 1d10 plus 5 pierce magic with a 17 to 20 x2 and a dex attack mod. And the epic is 6.5 1d10. Alright, so... Let's go back to update 28 named items. And it looks like, what do we got here? So you're working on the Fatal Flaw Titan. Uh, we're six. So if you're doing the Fatal Flaw, let's do the last one for Heroic, and let's do the, the Lion's Mane, which is a necklace. Which is also in Subversion. Alright. So, necklace is also jewelry. Min levels 14, bound to account, bound on acquire, Preview. Four twenty. This is a necklace. There's no race requirement. It is a neck item. We know that it's subversion and chest, or subversion at least. We don't know about which chest, but we're going to call it end chest so it shows up in loot. Upload file, choose file, lion's mane, which I might not have yet. Necklaces, edit. Try to make it 420px wide. Cut. New. Don't save. Paste. File. Save as PNG. Lions main PNG Don't need this anymore. Lions main open T 
241 is above the threshold. Ignore warning. Upload. Looks good there. Show preview. So we got durability of 90. Material says steel, but that's a really low durability and hardness. That looks more like gold. It's probably just a, an error that was made. Um, they may or may not fix it. 18 cost 5620 platinum pieces weight jewelry is usually 1.01 pounds or 0 0.01 0 0.10 pounds not epic subversion end chest no crafting description the body of a lion Hardy and proud enhancements insightful false life that might require a prefix setting for that we'll have to check it out after um, insightful con 2 That might require a prefix thingy on it. Next, insightful natural armor bonus two. Um, I don't remember what the one for natural armor is. Simple, no. One natural bonus. I believe it's natural bonus. And that was plus two insightful what's the next one insightful fortitude save plus one saves fort one insightful it has an empty augment slot of which color? Green. We've got named item sets. Named item sets. The Devil's Handiwork and Griffin set. Show preview. So Saves doesn't exist. You save. Okay, so Insightful Con 2, Natural Armor and Fortitude apparently don't have that. Devil's Handiwork, Griffin Set still haven't been defined. We're going to go define those in the epics, epic versions in a minute. That'll be a little bit of template editing. Invalid Magnitude for False Life. So False Life uses a different system. The False Life system is False Life Magnitude Lesser 10, which is note name, Improved, Greater, Superior, Epic. And bonus type so insight insightful so what we're gonna do is this is 
and so plus 10, so it's got no, no, so it's 2, so false life 2, insight, prefix equals insightful, show preview, insightful false life, okay, Insightful con, now we got natural armor and save, so we need to do natural bonus and save. Natural bonus and save, we'll take a look at those templates, see how they work. So we can get insightful. Natural bonus, use natural armor instead. So natural armor amount prefix equals. So we fix that one, and then save is type amount bonus type. So bonus type needs to be insight. Preview. Insightful false life. Insightful con two. Insightful natural armor bonus two. Insightful fort save one. Green slot, griffin set, devil's handiwork. So let's go down to named item sets, and we're going to edit that in a new tab. We're also going to open up Insightful Natural Armor Bonus 2 items, and we don't have anything else that we need to do here. This is done. So we click on Save Page, reload this. And we have a lion's mane. Let's do recent changes. Looking good. Looking good. Lion's mane. That's there. Our sets still don't exist. But, uh, alright, let's go back to update 28 items. Update 28 named items. Insightful category bonus here, so we're going to copy this. I'm going to guess it's going to be no include category listing and then the parent category, which is just going to be that without the plus two. Show preview. It's not category listing, but that's okay. So now we have a link to this. We can open up this. And we have plus five. Edit. So it's category listing with a space. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We need to do pipe space O2 in order to be able to have it properly be category sorted for the for the sorting. So now we go here and it should be two and then five. All right, so two and then five. I don't like the way that it shows. Ah, because it's two two there. So if we go here and we do calls equals one, say page, there we go. So that's good. All right, so we have hit our, well, we hit our halfway point 15 minutes ago. Um, 
before we add the new items here to this template, we are going to take a five, ten minute break for bathroom and coffee refill. Um, see you in a few. And we're back. So Titan has reminded me that um, he wants a picture of the crossbow. So I will upload one for him. The crossbow is right here. Edit, select. Did you need the epic or the heroic version, Titan? The heroic one, right?
Alrighty, heroic it is. Try to get it 420 width. There we go. Don't save. Paste. File. Save as PNG. The fatal flaw. PNG. So I'm going to go to the Fatal Flaw page. And I'm going to do this and show preview. And then click on that. So that'll get me the upload file page for the correct page. I can close the, the, the page that he's going to be working on without doing any editing. Just close it. So that way I'm not affecting him working on it. Uh, find the screenshot, the fatal flaw, open, 268 above 150, ignore, upload. And you now have a picture for the fatal flaw. That you can use in the item itself. Just use the substitute page name dot PNG and it will pull it up. Alrighty, so now we have these new named item sets. So if we look at the code for the template for those, we see it's got usage. Tells you, you know, named item set, set name, where set name is the name of the set. It is case sensitive and must match an anchor in the named item sets page. If you want the link to work, always test the link after using this template. Description is a string filler pop-up description for new set not currently in the template. Um, I believe that actually adds it to a, to a category. So this is what the wiki text for that usage and example section looks like. And then we get a categorization, category set items, set name items. If we scroll down to the bottom, default set undefined or two. Um, if there's a set, S case, new set, New set items. All right, so if we go to the lion's mane and the epic eagle's eye, we scroll to the bottom. There should be a devil's handiwork items. And we got seeker 14 that we need to create. So we got epic griffin set, epic devil handiwork, Devil's Handiwork, Griffin. So, Griffin, Epic Griffin. Devil's Handiwork, Epic Devil's Handiwork. Seeker 14, we're just going to add this to a category. So it's going to be... No Include... 
category listing calls equals one category zero one four I'm guessing I'm guessing that's what it should look like show preview Parent item is secret items, parent category. Let's take a look at that real quick. Let's take a look at one of these pages, uh, like secret 12. Edit, scroll down. So it's just zero, one, two, there's no space in there. So we'll get rid of the space. That is my son in the background. Save page, close, close, and that's done. So, if we go here, So what we need to do on this is, those are all the sets. You can see how they're all lowercase. Case doesn't actually affect it because at the top of the coding, we use a switch with an LC and LC means lowercase of whatever is defined as set. We try to make them alphabetical. Um, So let's add a couple sets here. Let's go to E's. Where's the E's? E, A, B, C, D, E, L, L, M, N, O, P. So we're going to want to go here. And we're going to add epic griffin set equals Epic the devil's handiwork equals, okay. So we'll take our epics. We'll work on those first because they're alphabetically the same. Um, eagle's eye. So take a look at recent changes. So Titan created an account. Okay, Titan, you created an account. Yay. Are you asking for DDO Wiki VIP? Is that what you're asking for? The picture's in the upload log right there. So it's file the fatal flaw.png, but you're just going to include it as the fatal um, curly curly s u b s t colon all caps uh, page name curly curly.png. So you're asking for special privileges with no edits. I see how it is. I see. But yes, I will give you VIP. I can give you VIP on the DDO stream account because the DDO stream account is a VIP. If you're a VIP, you can give VIP. I can't give you anything else from this account, but I can give you VIP.
Save user groups. And you are now DDO Wiki VIP. Now that I've given it to you, I can't take it away. So if I give you VIP on an account that's a VIP and you start screwing stuff up, I have to get in touch with a, an administrator, well, technically a bureaucrat or a steward, which means me or Yoko, basically, in order to get it removed. So that's user right management for non-stewards. So recent changes. There you go. So there's that. All right, back to this. Epic Eagle's Eye. Epic Eagle Eye. Edit. Edit. Because we typed in a description here, we can actually cut this out. Get rid of that. Go back to item sets here. This was for the Griffin set. That goes there. For the handiwork set, we can actually cut this out of here. And paste it in here. Now, let's see here. Doesn't look like there's anything special that we need to do there. As far as defining a set for categorization, um, we can do quality bonus. We can link that. We can link ability stat. We can link the devil's handiwork. We can link constitution. We can link quality bonus. We can link the griffin set. All right, so a, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if we go here, G, R, greater, 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 greater. So it looks like right here, we're going to put in Griffin set. Actually, our thing right here, I believe, was the heroic, wasn't it? No, that's the epic. Okay. No, thank you, sir, for supporting it and using it. It's knowing that it's helping people that encourages editors to continue editing and to update more stuff. Um, Epic Eagle Eye, Epic Eagle Eye. Why am I looking at that page twice? Let's just go to the regular Eagle Eye. And then I get it over here, too. All right, let's see here. So we don't have that in there. That's fine. What other things are in this set? Lion's Mane. Did we put it in there? Nope. All right, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to go like this and go Griffin set pipe while so it's the same thing only it's a plus one bonus instead of a plus two okay so I don't need that I don't need that what I do need is griffin set copy the one from epic And change plus one to a plus two, or plus two to a plus one. Then we're going to copy the Epic Devil's Handiwork and scroll down to T's. Uh, uh, 
and go with the devil's handiwork. And it's going to be a plus one there. I don't know. That's a good question. If you click on the Seeker 14, there should be a parent category of Seeker items. And then it will tell you, unless there's something that hasn't been added yet, it'll tell you what the highest is. Alright, show preview to make sure we didn't break anything. Show changes. When you're working on long templates with a big wall of different effects there, show changes is good because then you can see what you added exactly. Make sure you didn't do any typos anywhere else. So that looks good. So now if we hit save page. And we go to... Eagle's Eye. And Epic the Eagle's Eye. Now if we scroll down to Epic Devil's Handiwork. Ah, so Devil's Handiwork is Red Link and Ability Stats is Red Link. So ability stats we might want to change, because that shouldn't be a red link. But the Devil's Handiwork being a red link is okay. Um, although we're going to want to make it epic. Now yeah, we can get rid of the link there. And then the Griffin set is the same thing. It's got a red link there. So we can get rid of that. And then on the regular version, we have... Devil's Handiwork, Ability Stats. So we're going to get rid of the sets, but Ability Stats should have a link. So we're going to search other articles. Circle with a line through it. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Titan. Back on the last page. I don't remember what the last page was. Let's see here. This thing right here? That's That adds no wiki tags. Is that what you're talking about? No. Okay. I'm not sure then. So let's see here. Ability stat. I think it's just ability. Yes. Okay. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go to our new ones, which are epic. So it's just going to be ability stats. We're going to get rid of the linking on the Griffin set. Not to mention, they are already linked. Epic. 
as part of the template. It's behind a list item in the field. I have no idea. You'll have to come up with a more specific definition of what your question is. Or I'll watch it in the video and see if I can find it after we're done with this stream and maybe I can send you a message about it later or mention it next week. All right, so fix linking for new sets, save page. Reload, reload. There we go, that looks good. And that looks good. And that looks good. And that looks good. Still no idea. Recent changes. Do you remember what page it was on? Was it on the search page? Was it in the category pages? Is that what you're talking about? These things? What these things mean... Ah, okay. So those mean there are no subcategories? A plus means that there are two that there are that are subcategories, and a minus means that it's expanded. So you can collapse it, you can expand it, and if there's no more subcategories, then it's just a null set symbol. You can also see on the end here that if it tells you how many pages or categories or if it's empty, and there's actually even another one for all right, so this one has two categories and 22 pages. You can expand, you can see all of the subcategories are empty and they have varying slashes and they're all way out of whack. Um, that'll need to be fixed at some point. Uh, if there's files, it'll say how many files there are, but none of these have any files. Um, but if we go back to items, Three subcategories, 127 pages. These probably shouldn't be in items directly, and I don't know why they are, but we can fix those. We'll take a look and see if we can fi figure out what it is. Um... Let's go to root. Ah, here we go. Here's one. So this one, this history one, has three subcategories, which are events, Maybar, Endless Night Festival, Epic Items, and Smuggler Wet Rest Quest, 300 pages in history, and 13 files in history.
superior force burst. Okay. So the Epic Rift Maker. Let's take a look at the Epic Rift Maker. Item Epic Rift Maker. Superior Force Burst. It's in there. It takes you to the Force page. That's not a that's not an item. It's an enhancement. So it's we have force. We have force burst. We actually don't have superior force burst listed here yet, but we can add it. Edit. And we add. We just copy this and paste it, and we do superior. And then we look at it, and it says copy the description is this, paste, found on, it's not found on hand wraps, but it is found on superior force burst items. Base price modifier, I'm guessing, is plus six. Um, although they don't really do that anymore, I don't think. So we'll do a show preview. Force burst, superior force burst, found on Ep Epic Rift Maker. Save. And now when you click on superior force burst, it will actually take you to... Well, it's supposed to take you to that section. Why doesn't it? Because it's not set up to take you to the section. If you look down in the bottom corner, bottom left corner under my picture, you can see where it takes you. So that's in there now. Now, why are these an item? Well, it looks like there needs to be some work here. It's directly in items. So let's do epic return to center, center fixes and bracer fixes. Epic return to sender. We don't have a we don't have a screenshot for that one yet. So, epic return to sender is a dagger. Edit. Shrink. Copy. Try to get the 420 width. Cut. File, new, don't save, paste, save as, PNG, epic, return to sender.png, save, close, subst, page, name, dot png we're just adding a screenshot for this for now click on that choose file return to sender open ignore warnings upload No information here, so we're gonna we're gonna add Lamania to it. Show preview. I have done this a few times. Um, what do we got? We got five one d four.
plus X damage types, plus 12 pierce magic. And I'm sure you can hear the construction outside. Wonderful thing. 20x3, so it's 19 to 20x2. Throwing dagger thrown. We're going to dump that because I haven't fixed that yet. None, none, none. Attack mod dex, damage strength. Durability, 230. It is made out of steel. Its hardness is 29. Its base value is 11 to 20. Its weight is 1.00 pounds. Tavern Brawl. Which I haven't fixed yet, so we're going to dump that. Chest, we're going to say it's end chest. Because I believe they all are in this pack. Returning is actually a template. Solar 4 is actually a DMG. Greater Bleeding should be a DMG. Improve Paralyzing. I believe Paralyzing is its own template. So we'll do that. Augment Orange. Show Preview. Screenshots done there. So template isn't a par paralyzing isn't a template. We got returning, solar, greater bleeding. So paralyzing didn't work. Why didn't paralyzing work? Not in that list. Not in that list. Not in that list. So, since paralyzing didn't work, we'll do... We'll try to open the template, which doesn't exist. So it's going to tell me there's a red link. And then we can search for it in other articles. And we can see something that it's on. Improve paralyzing is on. We'll just say the epic spy dagger. Edit. Scroll down. So improved paralyzing is a misc effect. Okay. So we'll take misc effect. Improved paralyzing. So we'll just copy the whole line. Sometimes the easiest way is to search for it and find something else that has it. And then you can just copy paste. Because copy paste is awesome. All right, so improved paralyzing orange slot. We just need a description now. Magically murderous missive. Save page. And that one is updated. All right, let's do the bracers, which is missing a ton of stuff. Um, so we have some sets here. We're going to go like that and like that. And we're going to go two variables, named item sets, named item sets. Greater heroism is a misc effect, I believe. Attack bonus plus 10. 
delete. Attack bonus would be one. Insightful strength plus four would be STR four. Insightful stat. Still no picture, but that's okay. Misc effect I mistyped. Is it a space or is it lowercase on effect? Must be lowercase on effect. Alright, so that's annoying me. Let's do that. Search. Miss effects. Page down. Paste. Okay. So we're going to dump this for now because I'm going to do that in the template a different way. Epic bracers. Pick to script. Subst. Page name. Dot PNG. All right, so we have that. Show preview. 420. I don't think I've made the file for this yet. So we'll go to U28, and this is the bracers, right? Epic barb bracers. Bracers. Edit. This will be the last one because we only have a couple minutes left. Select. No, I hit select. And we want to try to get it 420 width. And cut. New. Don't save. Paste. File. Save as. PNG. Epic. Bar. Bets. Bracer. Make sure it's spelled right, dot PNG, save, close, choose file, epic bar bits bracer, open, 256 is bigger than 150, upload, wait for this to finish spinning, show preview, close that. Description shoved below deck the bar bets held tough their aim true manning the cannons with the uh, most bravery shovel deck the barbets b a r b e t t no apostrophe held tough their aim true manning with one n instead of two but that's how it's spelled so that's good weight zero zero point one zero Cost 11 to 20 PP, hardness 29, material steel, durability 200. Race, we're going to get rid of none because the template doesn't accept that yet. Show preview. Insightful Strength 4, Attack Bonus 10, Greater Heroism, Green Augment Slot, Epic, Epic Captain Set, Epic Handiwork Set, Handiwork Set Works, Captain Set is still undefined, but that's okay, that can be defined later. 
It's going to be the same as the other set, only it's strength. So we'll add that in a second. Jewelry, Bracer, Wrist, None, Bound to Account on Acquire, 200, Tavern Brawl, Quest. Attack bonus items plus 10 doesn't exist. We'll open that. Save page. Named item sets. Edit. Attack bonus items. So we do no include category listing. Calls equals one. Category attack bonus items. Ten. Let's do a show preview on this. Take a look at attack bonus items. And I have the wrong bra brackets there. If we look at plus four, edit, scroll down, it's just that, so that's, those are all going to need to be updated. We'll do this with a space 10 then, and copy, paste, save. While that's doing that, now we'll go back to attack bonus items. We'll do one, two, three, and four. That is the biggest attack bonus item, apparently. And we'll do edit, control tab, edit, control tab, edit, control tab, edit. We'll do scroll down to edit box, scroll to edit box, scroll to edit box. This is how you do mass editing of a few pages. If it's more than this, you should actually ask for a bot to do it which is just putting in a bot request. And there are a few administrators that have access to AutoWiki br browser and the bot account. Um, you shouldn't really do it without using the bot account. Um, so we got 0403, 02, 0, one, copy, paste, save, all copy, paste, save, all copy, paste, save, all copy, paste, save. That's all done. Uh, we said strength for Barbette. So if we go down to Epic Griffin and we go paste, paste, and we do Epic Captain Set, is that what it's called with an apostrophe? And then we change Constitution to Strength. And then we copy this, and we go up to C where Captain Set would go. A, B, C, Beacon of Hope. So we go here, and we go paste. We delete this. We delete Epic, and it's a plus one bonus. So we do Epic. Captain set, save page. Reload. And now Captain set has the bonus there. And I think that just about wraps it up. How do you get your changes to show on the preview once you're done editing? You click on Show Preview.
And if you want to see the changes that you made, the actual text changes to the wiki text, you do show changes. And I think that about wraps it up for today. Um, we're a couple minutes over our 10 o'clock. So please tune in next week for another exciting episode of DDO Wiki Talk with T13. Um, Tuesday mornings from 8 to 10. And don't forget to catch our other DDO stream live, live shows. Um, we have... Um, DDOPL at 1 p.m.